Would you rather have a potato or Donald Trump as a president? Vote Mr. Potato Head. Guys, I'm at the Science and Engineering Expo right now, and there's a mosh pit going on right now to science music. I have no idea what's going on right now. Um, you're in my giant mouse cage. <laughs> guys, I am back with my boy Bryce. How are you doing today? Hey, doing good, you guys. If you could make your own science fiction movie, what would you name it and what would go on in it? Maybe like X-Files, but more like maybe like the B-Files or something. Kind of take you in the hood, scare you a little bit, kind of like some scare tactics. A little bit of alien mixture in there as well. You know, spaceships, UFOs, all that good stuff. I wait, so what is going to happen day to day? Man, like just trapping, getting money, flying spaceships. I, I'm here with the real life Benjamin Franklin. So what can you tell me about your love life? Well, I enjoyed it. Would you ever date an alien? Depending on her size, yes. Guys, this is a uh, life-size model of Steven Tyler's lips. What is the craziest thing that's happened to you since the last time we talked? Well, wouldn't it be fascinating if we could go through time and look into the future and see who we're going to be and what we're going to be in the future? I probably made about 200,000 smoothies since then, so I became the smoothie king. Why is the turkey your favorite bird? It's so practical. Oh, I love it. What is your favorite type of smoothie? Probably like a strawberry, pineapple, mango. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Particle Man. <laughs> Particle Man! Peach, blueberry. I must ask you a question. What do you think about science? I don't like it. Kale. Yeah, with a little bit of mint, too. Who shot first, Han or Greedo? Han. Why, why did Han shoot first? I don't even understand that question, but Han sounds like the answer. Hey, Michael, what is going on with your glasses right now? You fixed them. Ah, well, you know, I'm just trying to get my eyes set so I can see all the amazing science that's going on at this festival. What would happen if you got abducted? <sighs> I mean, I'd probably lose a couple body parts and uh, probably gonna get probed. Whoa! Everything's all 3D. What is going on right now? All right, what is your favorite scientific word? What's that thing? A hypothesis? Well, I hadn't heard that before. That's a good word, man. Somebody spell that for me. All right, have you ever done any experiments with a hypothesis? Yeah, uh, so, you know, science fair was pretty awesome. You got to have a hypothesis. I actually did an experiment on, a, you know, if you change the direction of a plant, will it grow differently? It really doesn't grow any differently at all. <laughs> But actually, I'm supposed to be the stuff that comes out of a supernova explosion, because that's what I got in my trailer. Well, what type of plant were you uh, watching grow? So, I am growing marijuana now. I have three plants, and they're looking very beautiful. Do you have names for them? No, but it is the OG of all Kush, so... <laughs> ah, well, see, when a star is about ten times bigger than the sun, it's going to collapse down on itself and then blow out in a gigantic explosion. Right, if you could create your own science fiction movie, what would you name it and what would it be about? How maybe out of one of these exploding stars comes an amazing scientist, like um, myself. Marvel, you better pick that up. Who is your favorite scientist? Bill Nye the Science Guy. If you were stuck in a spaceship, who would you bring? I'm liking Nicki Minaj or Rihanna right now. Being on a spaceship with them might be uh, pretty awesome. Why don't you want to bring O.J. Simpson this time, Bryce? If you could take anyone on a vacation with you, dead or alive, who would you bring? Probably O.J. Simpson. Man, I, I, I saw the end of that uh, O.J. series and uh, we're not that tight anymore, man. Our last question is, what type of grades do you think Donald Trump got in science class? <laughs> Seeing that he probably paid off his teachers, he was a straight all a straight A student. Where's your favorite place to travel? <laughs> Who are you with? Oh, I'm just here with my sister. I got a autograph and he drew a suitcase. I will be moving to Florida for the next seven months. So you're not gonna see me for a while until January when I come back for the travel expo. I'm a little sad, man, because you know, your shirt brings me joy.